Welcome to the second part of this video on oxygen and the air and in this video we're just going to look at the lab preparation of oxygen using hydrogen peroxide. So let's skip through. Okay, um, this is the kind of setup we're going to use. Uh, so here we've got a conical flask and a delivery tube which is going to deliver our oxygen uh, gas into an upturned, uh, it could be a measuring cylinder or it could be a boiling tube and that boiling tube was previously completely filled with water and as the oxygen bubbles in the water is pushed out and what's wonderful about this method is you know that within this tube because previously it had water in and now it's got a gas that that probably is going to be the oxygen that you've produced from your reaction going on in here. Um, and this method it works because oxygen only has a limited solubility in water. If oxygen was incredibly soluble, when you bubble the oxygen into the water down here, it would just dissolve in the water. So you wouldn't get anything coming up into this tube. Now the reaction uses hydrogen peroxide and manganese 4 oxide and it's essential that you know the formula of those two chemicals. So hydrogen peroxide is H2O2 and manganese 4 oxide, uh, that's something students tend to get wrong quite frequently, is MnO2. Students often start talking about magnesium which is a completely different element. Now, hydrogen peroxide naturally breaks down. It naturally decomposes, um, and I've pressed the wrong button there. So, to form H2O2, sorry, it doesn't form H2O2, that is hydrogen peroxide. It breaks down to form water and oxygen. So, we'll have a solution of hydrogen peroxide, it'll be an aqueous solution um, and that will react to form water and oxygen gas and now we could, should of course balance that so we'll have a 2 here and a 2 there let's just check we've got everything right so we've got 4 hydrogens, 4 hydrogens, 4 oxygens 2, 2, so it's all balanced so this reaction actually happens naturally but it happens incredibly slowly. So you could have a bottle of hydrogen peroxide sitting in a cupboard and ever so slowly, over a long period of time, it would be releasing oxygen. So actually, hydrogen peroxide bottles need special ventilated lids which allow any oxygen which has been produced to escape. Otherwise you get a build-up of pressure and potentially an explosion. Now, as I keep saying, Naturally, this reaction happens very slowly. But if you put in some manganese oxide into a hydrogen peroxide, this decomposition reaction happens incredibly quickly. The manganese oxide acts as a catalyst. And a catalyst is a substance which speeds up a reaction. Overall, it's left unchanged by the reaction. So if I had two grams of manganese oxide at the start, I'd have two grams of manganese oxide at the end. And so because it's unchanged overall by the reaction, we don't bother putting the manganese oxide in the reaction equation. And quite often when I'm marking exam papers, I see students putting MnO2 somewhere here or somewhere here. Um, occasionally, you might see it written in textbooks that you put Mn O2, um, uh, that's not a very neat writing, above the reaction line, okay, above here, and that's fine, okay, but you would never put a catalyst either sitting with the reactants or with the products. Now if you've made oxygen, it's always good fun uh, to test whether you've got the oxygen in there or not, and hopefully you should know the test for oxygen, and if you don't, um, the test for oxygen is to use a glowing 
splint. So that's a splint which was a light and you've just blown it out. So you've got the red embers on the end of the splint. You put it into the oxygen and the glowing splint relights. So quite often in the exam, the test for oxygen is worth two marks. One mark for saying glowing splint, second mark for saying it relights. You must use the word glowing. Maybe I should have written it in red because the embers do glow red. So hopefully that's all you need to know about the laboratory preparation of oxygen. Uh, we're using the liquid or the aqueous solution hydrogen peroxide which decomposes very very quickly when mixed with a catalyst of manganese oxide to form oxygen and water.